everyone, I'm Marguerite Papa and welcome back to The Rundown for Friday, November 13th, 2020. Faith on Fire held a fundraiser at Pizza Rev on Tuesday night. Students and their families came together to support Loyola and enjoy some pizza. Michaela Huffman fills us in on how the night went. Faith on Fire is one of our many faith-based clubs here at Loyola. In an effort to raise money for veterans and first responders, they held a fundraiser night at Pizza Rev. Ms. Brown, the Faith on Fire sponsor, tells us more. We had a wonderful, successful night at Pizza Rev. We want to thank everyone who came out. It was so nice to see so many of the alum, uh, people with their parents, uh, students enjoying themselves with each other. Uh, it was a great success and we're so happy now we will use that money uh, to help the veterans and help first responders. We're going to do something special for them for Christmas. So we'll update you on that when that happens. So happy to see our flyers in action. This has been Michaela Huffman. Thanks to all the students who came out for Faith on Fire and our first responders. Speaking of students being involved in our community, there are many students who serve our community through the balance of school and work. Here's Lainey Mole with the details of some of our hardworking flyers. Loyola takes pride in our hardworking students. Students work hard to not only maintain their grades and sports, but some juggle having a job outside of school as well. I talked to some students to see what it's like to keep up with their work in and outside of school. I work at Rack Room Shoes, so after school I go to softball practice, then when I leave softball I work from 4 to 9.30. It's hard keeping up with school, but I'll normally just stay up to do it. I mow lawns on a, usually like alternating days or stuff like that. Like, it really just depends on who needs me to, but I make money. And it does kind of affect my schoolwork. Like, it's kind of annoying sometimes. Like, if I have some, some big paper or something like that I have to write, you know, getting home late's not, it's not ideal. I teach a dance class on Thursdays. I teach two four-year-old classes, a three-year-old class, and a 13 and up class from 4.30 to 7.45. So it's hard to get all my work done, but I love my job, so it's okay. We're so glad to see you hard at work, Flyers. This has been Lainey Mole. Keep up the dedication and hard work, Flyers. This week was a very busy one for the students and faculty. It was open house, and Loyola was in tip-top shape, and students were on their best behaviors. Maureen Roberts tells us all about this past week. You may have seen families walking around campus. Instead of one day of open house, Loyola had an entire week. Families got the chance to take a tour of Loyola and see how good our school truly is. So open house week is going great. We've had so many different students from different schools come to tour Loyola and experience a normal school day with us. I'm so proud of the faculty and the student body who have explained the different um, classes that are going on right now during the tour and so it's just a great day to be a flyer and a great week to be a flyer. We look forward to seeing these future flyers on our campus. This has been Maureen Roberts. Thanks to all the students and faculty who made this week go by so smoothly. Since Loyola is full of talented students, we have many who play multiple sports at once. This is a challenge for most, but our Loyola students know how to balance it all. Lauren Lindsay gives us the scoop. If you play a sport, then you know you have to put in a lot of time and effort. And some students at Loyola play multiple sports at the same time. I talk to those students to figure out what that's like. Normally my schedules are uh, planned out by the coach and I just go along with it. Because if I give too much energy at one, I won't have enough energy for the other. Being in shape, you have to try hard in both of them and because if you don't give all in one you'll have too much for the other so you need to balance them out. There are some benefits you're able to get in shape a lot quicker because you're working out even more throughout the day instead of just one sport so and both of these sports are cardio so that's able to help lose some weight. I do both basketball and cross country and sometimes it can be a lot because I will have two practices, I'll have basketball practice and then I have to run right after so it's a lot for me. But I enjoy doing it because I meet a lot of people and I have fun playing sports. In football, I'm always conditioned, I'm always running around and then same with baseball. Uh, I'm also working out in football some so that's getting me ready for baseball and also swimming. It helps build all kinds of muscles in my body that can help me out in football. Usually I prioritize by using football first right now because that's the season we're in. Then it's baseball, then it's swim because 
I do swim just for fun, usually. After I played Friday night, I had a swimming meet on Saturday morning, and then I went to go practice baseball on Sunday. I do it because I do enjoy playing all these sports. It is fun. It's also fun when you win, and I like to win, so that's why I do it. We're all proud of how much hard work you put into your sports. This has been Lauren Lindsay. Seems like our students got it all under control. Along with playing sports, our football, basketball, swim, and cross country teams are killing it this season. Here's M. Hussein with a sports update. With winter sports coming up and fall sports still in full swing, a lot has been taking place here at Loyola. Let's take a look at what our sports teams have been up to. Tonight, the Flyer football team will take on the number one ranked Manny Tigers at Mesmer Stadium. The Flyers are looking to rebound after a couple of tough overtime losses. We're hoping to have a good game tonight. The cross-country team will be running in the state meet next Tuesday. They have been working hard all season and hoping to finish strong. The swim team will be competing in their state meet next Thursday, which will be held at the Shreveport YMCA. Winter sports will kick off with both boys and girls basketball and soccer having a full slate of games next week. I spoke with Coach Tanner and Coach Sean Farber to hear their expectations for this season. Our season is coming up this Tuesday and we're very excited for the start of it. Um, our expectations are, are pretty high for, for this season and um, we're really looking forward to uh, starting a new year and I'm excited to be back. Um, we're really looking forward to leaning on our seniors and our upperclassmen to kind of lead and start this uh, this journey with uh, you know this senior class and, and this team and, and we're really looking forward to just whatever uh, challenges and, and obstacles come our way and, and fighting through it together. Right, we're really excited about the season. We start on Monday against Plain Dealing and we're a very young team, actually younger than we were last year uh, with no seniors so it's going to be interesting to see what happens but we get started We've got about four games next week. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think the girls are really excited about this year. Good luck to all of our Flyer sports teams. This has been Emmy Hussain. It certainly is a busy time for our Flyer sports. Don't forget to come out to the Luau-themed football game at Mesmer tonight, and make sure to wear your lays and hula skirts. That's all for this week's rundown. Stay safe on this Friday the 13th, Flyers. Hi. Oh. <coughs> Hi. Is it still on? Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Stella Marie, Hobby de Pestre, and... God. <laughs> <laughs> Please put that one in. Yeah. <laughs> Faith? Uh, hold on, just keep it going. Okay. Keep it rolling. Faith hosted a flyer... Wait. Faith hosted a... Yeah, I actually got it right. Faith hosted a flyers on ice event. Okay. Faith hosted a Flyers on Ice event at the Hirsch Coliseum this... Just kidding. Uh, um, watch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Hello.